Good morning. Let's get ready for church. Welcome to the Speckled Cactus. Tell me how your day has been going. Do you feel a little blah or are you actually waking up thanking God, feeling grateful, receiving all the things that he has promised for you, all the things that he has put a dream in your heart, or are you missing out on opportunities? Because I'll tell you one thing, God will put a dream in your heart and he'll be ready for you with the resources, but you have to be ready to meet him where he is with obedience. So I hope you're doing that today and that's not a preachy message for you. It's really me and anytime I feel like God's telling me something, I'm going to tell you too because we are in it together. And if you've wanted a community where we can hold each other accountable, we can wish positive things towards each other, lift each other up, read the word of God and know it's truth and also just learn some fun things about makeup then come and say hey but it's so much more than makeup and i hope that you understand that you are so loved and that you are you are the reason i get up every morning is to be thankful for you because i feel like sometimes social media is so negative can i get an amen and you always hear people um saying how much they hate social media like i have a friend like they refuse to get on social media ever and set an account because they're like you know um it's just bad and blah 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 i'm like well if you think about it social media is like a vehicle right and you can use the vehicle for good and get to the places you need to go for transportation or you can run over people and get in car accidents right so it's what we do with it. So let's just make it a good day today. We're going to get our skincare on, be nice and refreshed for the day. I hope that you're doing all the things that you need today to get yourself up and motivated. If not, and you would like to join a community that lifts you up, that encourages you, that shares with you personal develop the development they are learning every day. Um, that will root for you and your goals. Why don't you just say info and then you can come and see what it's all about for $19 You can do what I do Share things you love from your phone. You don't have to be salesy You can learn new skills Travel if that's what you like to do go to fun events with friends and it's so much more than just learning skills, it's personal skills. And I feel like that's so important in the world today. And, and learn to experience confidence <clears throat> in the purpose that God has for you today. So today we're reading from Billy Graham's, um, I have this little calendar and I talk about it a little bit, but I don't really go over it, but I'm gonna share with you today our small devotion. It's Wisdom for Each Day by Billy Graham, if you want a little tear-off page-by-page page calendar is what they're called. So today, it says, as far as the unbelieving world's understanding, you know, the world out there that doesn't believe in God, Christianity is a gospel of crisis. It boldly proclaims that this world's days are numbered, right? It's, it, it's basically talking about there's going to be negativity because our days are numbered. Um, every cemetery testifies that our days are on this planet. They are, they are numbered. It's a reminder for us. And the Bible teaches us that life is only a vapor that appears just for a moment. And then in just a second, it's also vanishing. James 4.14. 4, but in another sense, however, in which the world system will end, there will be an end of history and the end of a world that has been dominated by evil. Now, we all know there's a lot of good in the world, but there's also a lot of evil. So with it... With the good comes evil, right? And on that side, that would come to an end too, okay? Um, Jesus will come again. He will set up his kingdom of righteousness, social justice, hatred, greed, jealousy, war, and death will no longer exist. If you have been waiting for that day and you just feel like it doesn't matter what politicians are out there, what person out there promises to do right, nothing seems to be done Jesus is the end-all be-all solution. He will take care of it when the timing is right. And the hardest part is waiting on his timing because we want things now. We want it to see it instantly, right? But it's Joel 3, 14, it says, Multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is in the valley of decision. We never know when that's going to come up. It could be now. It could be 10 years from now. It could be any second. But 
as some of the younger generation says, YOLO, you only live once. And you have to live like that. You have to live like you only live once. Love like you only live once. Treat others like you only live once. I don't want to go down in history, even if there was never a God to begin with. I'd rather go down in history, making the world a better place, loving on people, than to just be hateful and bitter about everything and not using that as a lesson. We could all use that. I am just kind of exfoliating my skinny kitchen. You're wondering what the heck I'm doing. So let's go on and get started. Um, I feel like it's been a while for people that might have just popped on here and you've never heard of why I call this the speckled cactus. So a cactus represents resilience in the desert. Cactus um, is a huge reservoir of water in a most barren place. And a lot of things come to it out of a wasteland for sustenance. The cactus is just a really strong plant and it is quite unique for its surroundings and no other plant is like it. So that's one thing I just love about it. I love the Southwest, how beautiful it can be, yet so harsh. And it reminds me sort of the children in, of Israel. But at the same time, um, speckled, you know, I love leopard print, number one. But number two, there was a story about Jacob when he was going to get his wife, Rebecca. Or was it Rachel? I'm sorry. I, forget. I get confused. I think it was Rachel. And uh, he goes to work for his father-in-law. And his father-in-law does him dirty and gives him the wrong wife. So he'll stay and work more for the other one. So he gets two wives. But he ends up working like 14 years for this guy. And he just does him wrong a lot of times. And the Lord blesses Jacob even though he's done dirty. And um, he gives him much wealth through the most unconventional ways. And um, Laban, his father-in-law, wants the unspeckled, the unspeckled, the pure, unblemished sheep and livestock. And so uh, Jacob takes the blemished for his own and God blesses him through that. So not all things that are freckled, speckled, marred, stressed, scarred are necessarily unworthy and God calls the unqualified and the most unlikely of the world and through our scar scars we show our strength we show uh it's a resemblance even of what Christ has done for us and I love the idea of things can be speckled and still be a wonderful thing and so we call it the speckled cactus short story long all right so we put on our primer feeling nice and smooth let's spackle down that makeup um i know i've asked this before but i hope you had a great fourth of july um we're moving on into the rest of the month before long people will be moving straight on to back to school or getting supplies or further um squeezing in life's moments of um you know all the things vacation before you have to do resemble back to the fall side of the world uh literally the middle of the month and so i mean middle of the year excuse me so if if you just feel like sometimes summer is a little bit chaotic we can maybe rest in this moment and knowing that god's got our back you can come rest on this little side of the desert and come say hey let me know if you need a little prayer. If this is your first time, let me know by saying hashtag newbie. If you're not on my uh, text line, all it is is an announcement line. It's not a back and forth type line. Say text. If you wanted my VIP group for specials, say an announcement, say VIP. And if you haven't been a part of my newsletter, say email club or newsletter so I can get you guys in all of the details when new things come up because they will come up when fall comes up, especially unless something else comes up in the meantime. But we'll have a bunch of new products. September is going to be really exciting because... Um, I have a huge convention that we're going to with my company, Pharmacy. It's a, basically a lifestyle, wellness, and beauty group that covers all things, um, if you haven't heard. And I love it because it's easy to share because I already use a lot of these products as a mom. And being a busy mom with three kids, homeschooling, we've evolved a lot in our life. Um, sometimes we just don't have time for a lot of things. So it's fun to be able to do this from our schedule. 
And if you ever thought about that and be like, that would be nice, you should reach out to me and we can talk about what that looks like for you. What would you like to do with your schedule? Um, if it seems a little chaotic. So, um, I did share some links below, but I am going to drop down the speckledcactus.com. That will be all the things if you need to get a, a hold of my text line. Um, if you need to get in my newsletter, I usually occasionally give giveaways to see if you're alive in there and if you've signed up. Um, I send out, I will be sending out weekly for this month our updates because we have a lot of new things going on. Hold on just a second. I'm going to send out an update to my text line, by the way.
I hope it hasn't been doing that the whole time. I think I must have pushed a button. Thank you for telling me. Sorry, I was talking about Mar Lily. I got a... I don't know how far that blocked me out. Thank you, Natalie. Yeah? Um, Natalie says you guys are moving. Yeah, she just sent me something. Thank you for telling me that. Natalie knows how to get to me through my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. I think I accidentally muted it. I didn't know I could do that. Thanks, Facebook. And I don't know how long I was muted for. I hope it wasn't the whole freaking live. I guess I'll find out soon. But anyways, what I was saying was I found a cute bingo bag. I'm going to start going bingo shopping. I mean, bingo shopping. Bingo, playing bingo with my family occasionally because I don't get to see them as often. I've been trying to cultivate relationships this year. How is your weekend going? Are you pushing the mute button on everything in your life? I wish I could do that on certain things. <laughs> but Mar Lily, I thought, you know how sometimes you find cute things from ads that Facebook finds for you on your um, social media? And you're like, I don't know if this company's legit. Well, Mar Lily is legit. I looked them up. They had really good ratings. I got it a while ago, but I got a little bingo bag that was in. I had used the leftover of my bonus that I had. That's why I love pharmacy. Like, I'm not having to, like, use up all my money for stuff. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, what I love about them was uh, it came in really quickly. It was really cute little um, leopard print bingo bag. And I'm going to start trying to go with my daughter and my mom and my sister, which I really, my, my daughter really likes it. I really like it. We all like it. And it's just fun. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go soon. It's usually like on Mondays and Wednesdays. I wanna find one that's closer here, but I haven't found one that is. So we go to Phoenix City, which is about 40 minutes away when we do go, but we've only been one time. So it's not like we go all the time. But uh, anyways, what I was saying is, I don't know if you can see how pretty this makes my skin look, but highlight does not have to be it doesn't have to be super like chromey looking on your skin. If you've ever seen highlight, you're like, oh, that's too much. See how pretty that is? It just puts like a little glow on there. That's going to come with the bundle that I'm having all this month while supplies last because it is limited time. But if you like it, all you got to do is say glow. It's going to come with your highlighter. It'll come with your powder, um, which is finely milled, so it's good for all skin. I'm going to add my glow primer that comes with it. You're going to get your mascara that has volume and length, and I'm about to put that on. Um, and then you'll get a special cute little bag from me and maybe an extra goodie. Um, so let me know how your day is going. Have you ever, like, heard your voice back in from the phone, like a message, a message machine? I cannot stand to hear my voice. I, I don't know if that's a common thing, but I cannot stand to hear my voice record. It's just cringy. Like my voice sounds a lot higher than what it sounds like coming out from this point of view. <laughs> Is anybody else like that? You're like, oh God, if you accidentally like hear your voice on a message or like a video or something, I'm like, oh. And I don't realize how loud I am when I'm recording. So when like, when we went to the concert the other day, I was like, la, la, la probably like murdering the song forgetting like you know all the lyrics and stuff yeah not paying attention at all <laughs> not paying attention at all to how we were sounding right up in the mic I'll be all up in that mic recording something singing and it's embarrassing <laughs> it's embarrassing but I, I've gotten used to embarrassing myself like my whole life even as a kid that I'm like, I try not, I try to embarrass myself before I let other people embarrass me. I'm just like, I know I did this. Okay. You don't gotta, you don't gotta tell me. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. Okay. I know I embarrassed myself. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to take this color called warm teddy. It kind of sounds seductive, doesn't it? Warm teddy. And I'm just going to put it like under my eye and it's going to be a little pop in at first, but I'm going to kind of smudge it out with a little bit of eyeliner over the top. And then we're going to go ahead and add 
a little something something over here. everything that ends up on the floor it's a surprise I don't walk all over stuff and like tear my feet up <sighs> all right let's do a little bit of some dusty rose this is one of my favorite colors but I feel pretty productive this morning we have some new songs that I want to go over and I already have the lyrics printed out it's one of the hardest things, like when you have to get up earlier to do worship practice. I love that we get to do it. Um, but sometimes I'll be forgetting to be organized. Imagine that. So I was like, yes, we're going to get up on time. We're going to have those lyrics ready and be able to practice some new songs today. Is anybody else like, uh, or is a part of like a worship team or you sing or whatever and you, it just brings you so much joy? It does. It brings me so much joy. It really does. All right. So let's add a little bit of some blush and some bronzer to our lives. So we don't look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I love this stuff. Consider me committed to it. It looks really good. It just makes your skin look so pretty. And you don't have to have like a crazy bronzer look. It doesn't have to be super strong if you don't want it to be. Sometimes I go a little crazy and make mine a little stronger because I want it to stand out more during the daytime. Okay, so see, it just blends in so nicely and even if you added too much, a little bit of setting spray really helps to get it all nicely blended in. I'll be sending out my new newsletter this Wednesday. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to it. I'm going to do a special little makeup tutorial in it just for my subscribers. <sighs> Talking about some of the most highest asked, I won't say highest asked, the most common asked questions about makeup currently. If you have one that you want me to start adding to my newsletter and you're like, I would love to know how to do this or this or this, go ahead and put that down. In the comments like please show on your newsletter this you can go back and watch it anytime i'll probably upload it onto youtube but it'll be only exclusively for my people who have newsletters as a thank you okay all right so we just added a little darker right there but i love this color it's rio and then I take, now you can skip this part if you're not that oily, but I have to have this for extra coverage. But I take my extra BB powder and I kind of get that jawline that gets real greasy. And it also kind of makes that bronzer pop. I kind of go a little bit on top of the cheekbones. I'm also going to give soon a tutorial on some of my favorite brushes and what they do and why I love them. And not all of them are pharmacy, so just keep that in mind. All right. So, very pretty. Love it. Love it. Um, we're going to do a peach blush today instead of our liquid blush. I love the liquid br blush, but sometimes I just like to do something a little different. Can you imagine? imagine that all right 
So we're gonna do Peach Perfect. Just on my apples. And you can take it and just kind of deepen up your eyes too to kind of throw that in there. But I feel like the color that we use from that Glam Up palette matches pretty well. That's pretty. I like that one. I like it, I like it a lot. All right. We're gonna do our lashes in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite lippy I just did yesterday. <sighs> Where are you, Christmas? You're halfway here. Can you believe it? I'm gonna be in denial. All right, um, let's do today for our lip liner. Let's do ash brown. And we're just going to do an X. Don't go all the way to the corners of your lips. Just kind of go short of it and round it off. Then we're going to take just peachy. And just kind of rub her in a little bit. I was talking to my mom yesterday. I was like, do you know how, how many old people are at casinos? Because it's a lot. She started laughing. She's like, there's younger people there too. I was like, not a lot. Not a lot of them. It was all mostly older people. <laughs> I said, is that what I'm going to be like when I get older? I like to just kind of darken this up a little bit. All right, let's do a little bit lighter in the middle. Cool beige. I like playing with the lips. It, it's always so fun. See how like plain it looks without mascara? I usually used to wear mascara without all the other stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, I've been in love with it lately. So we're gonna do our primer first. Get her nice and curled up and strong. Oh my gosh, my bottom lashes have been doing freaking amazing with this stuff. I found out every single one of the mascaras have castor oil in it to grow. I was like, no wonder. I'm like sitting here talking about one particular one and they all have it. You learn something new every day. So we have that on, keeps them nice and hydrated and long. And then I'm gonna do the volume first. So that's the bottom underneath the pink band. This is called the la double lash extend. This kind of helps you get some pretty long custom lashes. You can just decide it if you wanna define them, if you want them thick, if you want them to look more wispy, if you want them to be more separated. The wand gives you so many options because of the way it's tapered and then it has a one that it kind of, you can pull out and create a little bit thinner kind of a version for length. It's 
kind of ridiculous how long the bottom lashes look now. I kind of almost feel like I need liner because of how much they stand out now. Alright, so that's our base. That is just the one coat with the volume wand. And what it does is it prevents the wand from moving around a lot so it's more stiffer and it creates that volume at the bottom when you pull it out from the top it's more flexible and kind of like bends through and comes through the lashes is my best explanation for the magic of this thing See, I love the Twisted Mascara with Unique, but the problem with that one was it, it wouldn't get down to the bottom of the mascara very well because it would wipe most of it off when it would go through the bigger tube. This one still goes all the way down to the bottom of the tube, which I really like. So it still gets a good amount of like mascara on it. All right, so <clears throat> dipping it back down, screwing it in, then unscrewing the top part over it. Now this one doesn't have a thick band around it, so it's gonna be more flexible. And that's gonna help me to kind of get those tips of the lashes a little easier. Kind of blink on them a little bit more. Hey, I hate Facebook comments. It is so jacked up right now, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about it. I have tried to go in and go out. It just does what it wants to do on some days. So give me a hashtag replay if you're watching later. Or I will comment when I see your comment. Alright. That's cute. Kind of just wiggle at the top a little bit. Kind of presses down on those lashes a little bit more. See how it kind of makes them stand up with that primer? I love that. I love that about this. You need to have a flexible wand. Otherwise, it's not going to do all that you want it to do. See how that curl, like it helps to keep that curl when I curl my lashes. Like, that one just looks ridiculous. It's, it's kind of so long. <laughs> I need to get rid of that unicorn horn out of it. Okay. And then if you want to layer it, you could totally layer it. Like, one of the ones I like to layer it with is the Lash Blast. That one fans out and it does a really nice thickening thing. This is a really good one. Again, see how this one's just very straight? The straight one's going to give you more volume. So if you like more volume, you just need to let me know. Daphne, I like more volume. I like it to be thick on my lashes. If you like them to be more wispy, you're going to have a more flexible wand. Okay, see how that added a lot more volume to the tips of my lashes? That's because I used something that helps fan them out. It's a thicker wand and a thicker brush at the end of the wand. Know your brushes and what they do. Otherwise, you'll never have a mascara that you'll love. And you got to make sure that the formula doesn't smear and smudge. That it's easy to clean up if you make a mess. I feel like that's essential. Especially a busy mom like me and crazy and all that kind of stuff sometimes. Um, Alright, so we're going to leave in three minutes. So... All I'm gonna do now is put on a little liner under my eye. I've been kind of liking this deep brown lately. So I'm gonna add a smudge of that. I'm gonna pick my eye up and just go up underneath and tight line it. That freaks my kids out. They don't like to see me flip my eyelid at all. So they're like nasty nice when it comes to this. All right, let's do our, our setting spray. Setting spray activated. All 
I think I want a little shimmer on my eyes just to kind of add a pop there. So we're going to use a little bit of some gold tail from the same palette. You know your girl likes a little bit of something. We stay so plain on our clothes and everything else. I'm like, it's, it lets us be able to pop a little bit with the makeup. And you can either go like this to add a little bit with the lips or, and, or use your lippy lip gloss is my favorite. like Daniel Benningfield he's to be one of my favorites all right uh oh my gosh stop stop it um so I like this one it's called golden topaz it kind of does the same effect now you don't have to hardly put no powder on your lips that one's pretty with peach golds with peach that's why I like the peach palette so much y'all always gonna hear me talking about that peach palette because it's got pretty golds on it so anyways that is our final look I hope you have a fantastic day don't forget to stay sharp and always be on point and I will see you guys later